So uh, today we are going to cover uh, AZ400 and, and that's about our designing and implementing a DevOps solution for our organization. So uh, this is the course which we are going to cover and uh, thanks all for the join. So basically uh, this slide talks about the what is the role and responsibility which you are doing as part of a DevOps engineer or, or, or DevOps architect and your organization. So uh, if uh, you think about the DevOps, de uh, always we talk about the DevOps is not a specific to a tool. Okay, it's it talks about the agile methodology. It talks about the DevOps, and both the things goes hand to hand. Okay, so you can't say that um, uh, de without agile will will work with DevOps, or without DevOps we can work as agile methodology. So both works together, and that has to be uh, bring uh, together in the organization, and that has to be uh, like you can go ahead and enhance the, your process accordingly. Uh, with the DevOps, basically, you are going to streamlining the process for your organization, like improving the uh, collaboration with each other developers or, or automating your deployment, build, release pipeline, monitoring, looking for the feedback. So DevOps is not only limited to creating something or, or, or building the application. This is not related only the build and release process. So it's it's completely, you can say, the collaboration with your from the developer to the tester uh, and uh, uh, other like project manager, your, your uh, architect, your manager. So it's completely collaboration and bringing all together to uh, make a success for your organization. So that's what we look for the complete DevOps picture okay so in the devops basically we are going to understand about the different tool mostly we'll focus on the azure tools but also we have a few external tools as well which will which we will touch base as a theoretical part okay also we have jenkins we have a terraform and other other tools as well which we can go ahead and incorporate with the devops azure devops so i will talk about those as well when we go with the labs and other things if you see the course outline, we have a very uh, big topics which is which need to be covered into the AZ400 that are completely 20 topics which we need to cover into the uh, this module, okay, this uh, course you can say. Okay, so we start from the planning of DevOps. Here we are going to understand about how you can uh, go and start working with the devops like creating a task assigning the task creating a user story uh, working with the user story how you can plan the team how we can query the work item so overall picture from the dashboard perspective uh, and and uh, also looking at the uh, some of the project management activity like how the project manager goes and assign the hours for you so those things we'll be looking at so this is the overall picture of uh, how you can design your project how you can assign the project how you can divide the work between the teams okay so we'll be looking at the first topic this is the planning of devops next topic where we are going to start working with the source control okay so we'll go and use something called azure repo okay and we are going to pull the code we are going to do a check-in check-out in this code so we'll try to understand how the commit operation works how to pull push operation works so those things we are going to learn in the second topic third topic talks about the technical depth so basically a technical depth means a developer which has uh, done a coding in your organization and he has not followed a proper standard or the testing team has not done a testing okay uh, maybe your architect who has done a code review, he has not done a proper review. Because of that, what happens? A technical depth start uh, getting generated into the code, okay? And which uh, makes uh, your your application slow, or or other people will be able to uh, gain gain uh, access of your database using that code. So that is a, something called a technical depth. Okay, then we will be talking about the something called Git, how we can go ahead and push your changes to the Git and uh, then how you can go ahead and use something called uh, Git action and Git workflow to deploy the application. So it's similar to the DevOps, okay, but how the GitHub is going to help you into the enterprise uh, application architecture. Now, this is the what we are going to cover it today. So we'll try to cover a four module each day. Okay, so this is the first more uh, four topic which we are trying to cover. Okay, so uh, tomorrow 
so today mostly it will be a little bit theoretical part okay and uh, uh, that's what the uh, uh, course outline is from tomorrow we'll see the how you can develop a pipeline so tomorrow we'll try to focus on the build pipeline okay so how you can develop application how you can go ahead and start creating a pipeline to build an application okay so once we build the application the artifacts is generated and then that goes to the release pipeline okay so we'll talk about the build pipeline then we see how we can go ahead and implement something called continuous integration okay then we'll look at the uh, how we can go ahead and read something called configuration so if you work as a developer so you uh, write some connection as string you write some application settings into your web.config file or app.config file so those things it's not good to write directly into the application configuration file so how you can go ahead and store those into the azure and then you can go ahead and use that from your uh, from your uh, uh, devops itself to get those secrets and the application configuration from the uh, a secured place okay so that's what we are going to look at this and then we are going to look at something called github action so how you can run those continuous integration from the github so always you see there is a topic from the git and github so we, we just try to compare that how you can do with the git as well and the azure devops as well okay so this is the four topic for tomorrow uh, then we will move on third day we'll talk about something called release strategy so how you can design application to deploy into the different environment so that is called release uh, releasing to the uh, environments okay then we'll talk about the how you can implement something called continuous deployment using the pipeline and and there are different deployment pattern that like uh, blue green deployment and uh, there are different deployment pattern canary deployment so we'll talk about those deployment patterns on the uh, uh, you have our third day when we talk about the release strategy then on the fourth day we have something we'll talk about the infrastructure okay so we have completed uh, basics of uh, our devops we have completed build and release now we are going to think uh, about or uh, designing about the something called infrastructure so how we can go ahead and deploy uh, our infrastructure and configure our infrastructure using azure tool here we are going to understand about the arm template powershell cli so these are the few tools which is going to help you in terms of a creating a vm creating a web app creating a, a sql database so all those things you will be able to create into the azure so that is called infrastructure configuration so till now whatever we have seen build and release we are basically trying to build an application and deploying the application but where we are going to deploy those application we are basically going to deploy into the infrastructure which is available into the azure so infrastructure creation and infrastructure management also it's part of the uh, our devops as well so you can go ahead and create if you want to create a uh, 100 vms so you are not going to create a one by one in the azure portal so you are going to use some tool which which can automate and create a 100 vm into the uh, very simple step or in the very minimum time so that we are going to understand here we'll talk about the other third party tool here so the terraform is there uh, there are different uh, uh, tools are there uh, chef puppet and sable terraform so we'll touch base those uh, um, uh, those tools as well here as part of infrastructure creation okay next we'll talk about something called docker okay so how you can design a docker how you can create an application docker application and you can deploy those docker application we'll talk about the kubernetes so kubernetes we are going to uh, it's become famous and it's a google plat uh, google uh, uh, google uh, services which is available into the azure also that is called azure kubernetes services so we'll try to create a docker image and try to deploy those images into the kubernetes services so we'll see how you can go ahead and what is the steps for deploying the Kubernetes services into the from the Azure DevOps. Okay. So these are the uh, your fourth day topic. And the last day we'll uh, look at something called a feedback. Okay. So feedback is one of the important thing how you can go ahead and ask the feedback from your customer. Okay. What are the feedback mechanism we have? 
how you can go ahead and implement a security for your DevOps. So DevOps is on not only the talking about the DevOps, we'll always say DevSecOps. Okay, so security is one of the important thing which you have to look. So we'll, we have one of the topic which talks about the security into your develop devops and how you can uh, put security around your azure services around your devops uh, so that your devops will be become a uh, secure okay and then you have uh, something called validating code base and compliance checking the compliance requirements so this is also topic related to the security as well so where you look for the compliance and the security here so these are the 20 models any questions here in this uh, uh, modules uh, if okay any questions? So these are the 20 topics which we have to cover. Uh, so Shadab, uh, yeah. is it going to be something like uh, we have to create an application, uh, then dockerize it and create a pipeline? Yeah. So we are going to create an application and then we can um, go ahead and build an image out of that. And that image, I can go, we can go and deploy those images into the, uh, either as a container or you can push as a Kubernetes services. Okay, so is it going to be a front-end application or a back-end application? Uh, it will be, uh, if you deploy a Kubernetes services, it deploys uh, a SQL server, it deploys uh, uh, something called uh, your API layer, and then it creates a nodes for Kubernetes, okay? So there are three components which get deployed. So you are going to deploy a database as well. You are going to deploy something called API, and then uh, there is something called master node concept and the client node concept in the Kubernetes, okay? So we are going to configure those complete environment. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So um, this is the, uh, as you can say, the very vast topics. There are 20 topics and uh, so that's what we have to cover. And uh, if you look at the examination perspective, if you are uh, planning to appear on the certification exam, that is a AZ400 certification examination. So these are the few areas which comes in the examination. So you can see the weightage on the right hand side. The more weightage you see, the more number of questions will come from that particular area. So you see here 20 to 25 percent, which covers around the continuous integration means your build pipeline phase covers the more. OK, how you can build, how you can uh, 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 design your application uh, for the build pipeline okay so that is a continuous integration you have uh, mostly you are cov covering a uh, 20 to 25 percent then you have continuous delivery and the release management it covers a uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, communication and collaboration it again covers 10 to 15 percent managing source control 10 to 15 percent developing a security and compliance it's 10 to 15 percent SRE is a one of the, the module we have um, that is called software uh, system uh, site reliability engineer. Basically, they are the, you can say the uh, monitoring guy who is looking at the uh, server performance and, and giving the input your, to your developer team to enhance the performance. That is called a SRE role. Okay, so that's kind of, uh, you can say the monitoring uh, okay, so we have a one topic for that as well. So around five to ten percent you can expect from that as well, and and developing a, a instrumentation and a strategy. So what is the plan you are going to select in terms of a deployment and the configuration? You are looking for the, again five to ten percent weightage. So these are the few uh, weightage is mentioned. So more percentage means more questions are coming from that area. So that you have to revise or or practice more into that area.